Baltimore. Hi, Lori. Hi, I just want to say I love both of you from the beginning. You both played a great game. Thank you so much. That means a lot. That makes me smile. (laughs) I was wondering if you would ever consider playing again or doing another TV show like The Amazing Race, because all the fans want to see you on that. Uh, You know, uh, Shane and I, I think, would definitely do The Amazing Race, and we're definitely flattered that all the fans want us to do it. So um, if they ask you for that, I think that both of us, I can speak for both of us, that we would definitely do it. But um, as for Big Mother, um. Girl, I, honestly, right now, I don't know if I can answer that question. I mean, it's taking a really big toll on yeah. me, and um, but I would definitely consider doing something else. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. You know, Big Brother coming out of the house, you know, it's just adapting back to reality. It, it's it's huge. But mm-hmm. If you get evicted or, you know, if you get blindsided the way some of us have, you know, that plays a toll on you as well, and it's just, you come back to the real world, and it's uh, it's tough to get back into the norm. So would I do Big Brother again? I, I, if I get asked to, I probably would. But at the same time, i got to be prepared for the psychological aspects of it coming back to reality. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. yeah and, and just for the record, I was screaming and I was cussing and I was crying when Shane got evicted because <laughs> I yeah. do not yeah. like dancing. I almost cried on national TV for the third time. It was uh, it was it was bad. I was a mess. I so. I, I still regret it. I, yeah. You no, know, if we knew the outcome, obviously we wouldn't have done anything um, to that extent, and you know that probably cost us the game and and you know, that. So. All right, callers, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, and thanks to Danielle for following me on Twitter. Girl, it's no problem. Thank you for being so supportive and being so sweet. Anytime. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye okay, um, next caller. Um, Paul from Minnesota. Yes. Hello, Shane, and hi, Danielle. This is Paul from Minnesota. And uh, first things first, a huge fan of yours, Jess BB Love, is listening, but she's too nervous to call in. I was hoping you'd give a shout out to her. What was it, Jess B B twelve? Jess C B Love. Yes, C B Love. Jess? Like as in Jessica? Yep. Jess B B Love. Yeah. Oh hey. Jess B B Love. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you for the hey, hey. Okay. Anyway, um I saw, first of all, I have to ask about uh, Dozer because I saw your pre interview where you said you actually got a shorter bed just so he could get up with you. How was it uh, reuniting with him, Shane? That, uh, that's very true. He, uh, he was very excited to see me. He actually cuddled with me the whole night, took up most of the bed. And actually, to my return, um, we were actually supposed to move out of my house. And when you're outside of the Big Brother house, you have no idea what happened. So I moved back, and our house didn't sell. And my roommate had burned my bed. <laughs> so I, I came home to a, a much smaller bed. And, um, yeah, I don't know if it was a joke or what, but um, we still fit. Uh, those and I fit on the bed just fine. So it's, it's All right. Great. That's great yeah. to hear. Danielle, how about them tied? Roll tied number one. Oh! Roll Tide, yeah. I was super excited to see the football team was doing so good. I I missed, I forgot how much I missed football being in that house. All so. right. The other thing, and I'm, I'm interrupting because I want to get these in real quick uh, for uh, the callers, but uh, we did see when you showed up at the draft party, we had the uh, Super Pass feeds that uh, you had been out with Jeff and Jordan, and I'm hoping that they gave you some uh, good advice about coming off of Big Brother. Plus, yeah. I was wondering if you – have reached out to Shelly because she experienced a lot of this uh, after her season. Yeah, um, Jeff and Jordan, we definitely went out with them, went out to eat, went out, um, and they are amazing, a phenomenal couple. I adore them so much. They gave us so much advice and wisdom, and um, it meant a lot. And Shelly is a great, great woman. I love talking to her. I have talked to Shelly, and um, – it just it, it means the world to me that they've all talked to me and, and reached out to me. They're and sure. finally, one of my favorite moments early Last on question, in the Big Brother season <laughs> was Craig and the Pixies dance routine. How fun was that? Oh my gosh, I loved Craig. I love Will. He uh, is 
one of my favorite people ever, and I love dancing that dance. Uh, one of my top BB moments. Favorite. I loved it. Thanks for calling in, Paul. Sorry, we have to move on. Thanks, um, Paul. Thanks, Thank Paul. you. 832, you're on. Yes, hi. Hello. Hi. Finally, yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Since I know you don't want to talk about, you know, the the um, deceptions, um, I just here's what I'm wondering. Um, I know Shelly Moore reached out to you, and Shelly had a really rough time when she left the house. So did Natalie from season, what was that, 11? 11, so, yes. Yeah. You know, and but the thing is, I feel like they they dealt with, you know, they dealt with the stuff that they did in the house. They they really confronted it directly. They answered the real questions. And what I feel like some people who don't prepare, um, and for this show, and especially by watching the feeds in advance, to get an idea of what we are are we are all going to see. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. I've got so many things in my head. Um. I'm losing my train of thought. Anyway, I just I just wonder if maybe you could just address some of the stuff that we all saw, and then it would go away. And like everyone loves Shelley, everyone loves Natalie because they just hit it straight on. And I don't think that y'all really grasp what we see as live theaters. So um, you know, I just I mean, there's stuff like with the cancer, and you know, your dad being abusive. Da, da, da. But she did I mean, address that. Not- she she did, but you know what? Let her respond. Okay, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I mean, you're right. We don't see what y'all see as life eaters, and I never saw the life eats before I came in the house. I just saw the episodes on TV. Um, but I just, you know, I feel like it's almost a lose the situation if I do address anything, because I feel like, you know, people are going to hate you no matter what I say, or and I'm just afraid to say anything because I don't want anything else misconstrued. So, um you know, I, I, I'm just more of a person, especially since I'm out of it now, and I feel like the live feeds and you've been on TV so much, I just, I don't know, I'm just, I keep it in myself, you know. Do you know what, Danielle, you know what I, I, think, just, I think what you said is there, it's, there's a lot of truth to that because it doesn't matter what you say at this point, the haters are going to hate and your fans are still going to like you. So uh, I, I'm not really sure where, where people are going with this. I, I, I don't well, I just wanted to say, you know, I just don't, I personally, I'm a, a fan of Big Brother and I watch the feeds and I don't feel like I'm owed some type of um, explanation for things, uh, period, much less things that are not even game related. Um, whether they believe things or not, does it really matter at the end of the day? I mean, really, why um, some fans tend to harp on things I just don't understand. It's it's ridiculous to me. And, you know, they want to attack you for things, and it really says a lot about them that they're still bothered by something that's so irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. I mean, you know, I, I, um, I never meant to go on the show to hurt anybody or hurt anybody watching the live feeds or make anybody mad. So uh, for that, I am so, so sorry. Um, but... You know, it's it's so hurtful how people think that they know my personal life and they really don't. And um, but uh, you know, I just yeah. Thanks for the support and thanks for being there, though. You know, truly, and thanks for your words. Mhm. Um, let's try. We have like roughly eighteen minutes left of the show. And yeah, there's like fifty people on hold. Sorry, guys, we're trying. <sighs> we're not going to get to all fifty. That's clearly not going to happen. Clearly <laughs> not going to um, happen. We're going to try to at least get to maybe another 10. Um, caller 712, you're on. Hello? 712? Hi. Hi. Hello? Yes. 712, you're on. That's you. Hello? 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 Yeah, I just had a question for Danielle about whatever happened with Trey. Oh, my gosh, yeah, one of my good friends. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really talked to anybody back home. I haven't even been to Tuscaloosa. I haven't even seen any of my friends. So, uh, you know, it just it, it's definitely hard. Um, everybody's doing well, I assume, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Seven, Move on. Seven, you're on. 
Hello. 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 Hi, this this is Priscilla from Florida. How are you all? Hi, Priscilla. Hello. Hi. Uh, da- Danielle and Shane, we really enjoyed watching you all, and I wish you all the very best. I just had a quick question, or just a comment and a question. Shane, I think you would have done a lot better and had more strategic game playing if you had been able to see uh, a lot more of the season. So I think that was, uh, you know, that didn't help, right? <laughs> yeah, that was that was my uh, number one downfall. You know, they they found me online and um yeah, so yeah, it it was definitely uh my downfall, you know, not seeing the other seasons and uh you know, I I blame it on that. So, yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot more than just winning the competitions, uh, but uh question for you, you were having a conversation with Brittany in the HOH room early on and she was kind of concerned about your relationship with Danielle or as she was perceiving it and wanted to be sure it wasn't anything other than just gameplay and you assured her it wasn't that it was just a friendship um and um so i guess that she she felt pretty good about that answer but then you a- added to that comment and said it doesn't make any difference anyway cuz Kara is more of my type and i hope to meet her after the show i so just hear something along those lines but at the time that Brittany and i were talking she was still in the house and i mean that was possibly day 40, but at the same time, you know, Danielle and I were, were developing feelings more and more each day that we hung out, so I could have said that, and Kara is, would be more my type, but now that I've gotten to know Danielle, you know, for the past 69 days, obviously, I would take that comment back in a heartbeat. Good save, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, caller, for that question. <laughs> caller 724, you're on. Hello. Hi. Any questions for Shane? Sure. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Hello. All right. Let's move on. All right. All right. Two one four. You're on. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Oh. Hello. Oh. Um. This is Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Um, uh, I called yesterday from Dallas, Texas. Yes, you did. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I am a huge fan of these two right here. Uh, Let me tell you. Thanks, Jacob. That's awesome. That's great to hear, man. I I got everybody at my school to vote for half people for America's Choice for Danielle. I never had a change. I I wanted you to win. 